Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Amina and today I am vlogging the whole day. It's so weird to pick up this camera and actually vlog. When the last time I vlogged was, and it was in, in November, which is almost a year ago now. Can you believe that? When I went to Paris um, in November, I now have a plus one. As you can see, um, he tags along everywhere that I go, he's always there. I didn't quite know how to incorporate this new change with my channel because obviously I talk about education, productivity, lifestyle and I had no idea how to blend in a baby into that but a lot of you said to me why not do kind of daily vlogs from time to time and show sort of how I maintain my productivity and the things that I do with a baby so I thought hey why not um, I think he's hungry right now but um, yeah, so I'm gonna vlog. It's currently I think 9.30. We've done our morning routine and um, the morning pretty much consists of like me pampering him. I brush his hair, um, I like oil his body because he has a bath the night before. So I oil his body again just to like make him sort of fresh and sort of smooth and brush his hair. So he's very dribbly these days. I think he's starting to teeth but with like a puddle of dribble in his neck and it's not great. Um, for his skin so I always wash his face in the mornings and um, what else do we do I tied up the bedroom I get myself changed and myself ready as well and um, so I decided to vlog today because my husband is not at home he went into the office he's been at home since March literally been working from home since March which has been amazing because normally in the UK paternity leave is only two weeks so I'm so lucky that he's literally been around for like five months now which is completely crazy I haven't got much planned for the day but I do know that I might have a, a meeting with my YouTube partner manager and I also um, have to edit a video for a sponsorship and I uploaded a video this morning already that I edited last night had to pick him up because he was getting a little bit agitated so head to the vlog So Sophia has gone down first first now. I don't remember what I was saying. I'm just getting a bit frustrated. I think he's starting to teeth because um, even though he's fed and he's like, you know, full up, he just like stuffs his finger, his whole hand into his mouth quite violently and gets really frustrated by it. Um, and I've given him like those teething toys and stuff, um, but he still sort of gets frustrated by like something's going on around his mouth. So I'm guessing he's teething, which isn't great, obviously, for anyone involved. Um, so hopefully, yeah, hopefully I can find another way of soothing it. I have did a bit of reading and I found that you can make like breast milk popsicles. So I'm going to buy those little like popsicle like ice pole trays and then put some breast milk into it. So it's like cold enough for him to maybe soothe his gums, I guess. Um, so yeah, speaking of breast milk, I am exclusively breastfeeding. It's four months next week. Um, and yeah, it hasn't been easy. I mean, it hasn't been the most difficult because I've been at home for like 99% of the past four months. But um, the couple of times that I have been out, I've used this like breastfeeding blanket thing. Or well, not blanket, but like more like an apron actually. So you put it around your neck and then it kind of covers you and it has like a wire. Uh, it has like some wiring over here. Um, and so you kind of see the baby and they can kind of breathe and no one can see it in so that's quite nice and I've used that in a restaurant I've used that in a park I've used that with friends so yeah it has been quite nice having that and I'll leave the link for it down below for those that don't know what I do I am currently on maternity leave from my like main job which is in academia and teaching um, which is in which is in education so I teach and I'm also I teach and I'm also an academic so um, that's my main job and I'm on maternity leave right now so like that's that I go back next year however I also run my own business and I also have my YouTube channel and um, I'm doing things like for the for that on the side so whenever I get some free time I'm applying to emails I also have like some employees like part-time employees that work for me in my company so I need to like send them the work I need to pay them at the end of the month um, I'm designing a website right now for an, for a consultancy company that I'm about to sort of launch officially so I'm doing that on the side when I can um, I film videos a lot of other things that I do on the side so that is why I'm still technically working I also like to go for a walk like once a day it, sometimes I go by myself sometimes I go with Sufyan sometimes I go with my husband and Sufyan so it kind of depends on like what I feel like what mood I'm in the other day I was just like I just need some time to myself so I left him at home and then I went for a walk by myself 
sometimes I'm like, you know, let's go for a walk together. So we'll all go for a walk. Um, it really depends. I'm meeting at 4.30 with my partner manager, um, my YouTube partner manager. So that's at 4.30 for half an hour. So I'm, I booked it for when he's awake because I don't really, like, it's not a serious meeting or anything. Um, he can just kind of sit on my lap and <laughs> chat. Um, and I actually quite like him, like, listening to me speak. I really like him listening to me interact and um, hearing me kind of have dialogue. I think it's really important for him to hear me have actual conversations. Um, and I try my best to really speak to him as well. I try my best to have conversations with him um, and not just sort of goo ga ga, you know? Because um, either way, he doesn't understand what I'm saying, so it might as well make sense than not make sense. Um, he gets, he gains nothing by me using language that doesn't make any sense. I might as well, you know, speak to him properly. And he can just laugh anyway, regardless of what I'm saying. Um, cool, so on the agenda today, what I tend to do when he's asleep, I've got a good hour now, I know for a fact, I've got until 11.30. Um, I'm gonna have breakfast right now, I think, um, and I'm gonna try and reply back to some emails, or um, let me think of what the priority is. I always think of what my priority is. So what, <laughs> the way I try to do things is, what can I do when he's awake and what can I definitely not do when he's awake like was some laundry yesterday and the clothes are hanging back there I know that I can tidy that up when he's awake um, and I can kind of just like entertain him and stuff while I'm tidying it up so I will not do that when he's asleep never that is a complete waste of like his sleep time so I just I'll try I'll do that later so what I'll do now is something that I know that I can't do when he's awake and I don't like to sit on my laptop or go on my phone or like um that kind of thing when he's awake i like to give him my full attention for those two hours that he's awake so right now i'm gonna even in fact i even skip breakfast because i'm like i'll have breakfast when he's awake um so i'm just gonna get on with replying back to some emails allocating the work that i've got and um i need to edit a video and get it out there for today as well so yeah it's a busy one today um and yeah i think this vlog is going to be really chatty i hope that you guys don't mind it might be like a half an hour vlog or something but i haven't vlogged in so long and i think a lot of you wanted this kind of content so let me know if it's something that you you actually like because if you if you do then i'll definitely think about doing it maybe like i don't know once a week i'll do a random day in my life and you can see what i get up to um with a baby and yeah oh and let me know if you guys are also maternity leave or like i don't know do you have like a young one yourself or are you thinking about it or are you just watching this because you want to see what i get up to um if yes thank you anyway hope you guys are all well don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already to see more from me and um yeah i'm gonna get on with some work while he's asleep because this is like my gold time this is gold time <laughs> too complex just some cereal i think and um i'm gonna put him down first actually oh, hold on a second <laughs> skincare bit and if you know me you know that I'm not really huge on like skincare or makeup or anything like that I keep it very basic um, and one of the reasons for that is because growing up I did have eczema and I kind of still do have it but I think because of that growing up I've always stayed away from products in general like I I think the first makeup product I bought I was probably I don't know early 20s um, and I don't have, I don't own foundation, I don't, I only use concealer and that's very rarely. Um, yeah, I just t tend to kind of stick to the kind of clean options just because I don't know how my skin will react to it. And I think it's a habit 
that I've continued on from um, my childhood even though it's kind of gone now anyway I got this SPF because I always wear SPF that's one thing that I've always worn um, and that's SPF so like even right now I'm wearing SPF um, and I like how like I know people don't like this but I like how kind of glossy and like kind of dewy SPF makes you look um, and yeah so this is the one that I've got so I know that there's two kinds of SPF one is mineral and one is the chemical SPF so the difference is that <laughs> one of them forms a barrier on your face and actually prevents and blocks the UV rays and the sun rays from kind of penetrating into your skin. <laughs> And the other one is um, a uh, kind of chemical SPF where it still absorbs into your skin but then it doesn't convert into the damaging rays. Um, and so the one that you want to go for is mineral as opposed to chemical just because it actually forms like a kind of like a layer, like, like clothes, like a layer on top of your skin and it stops the penetration. I followed a few derm doctors and um, black derm doctors and they all recommend this one. And it's tiny but it does seem like a small bit will go a long way just because of how sort of liquidy it is. And you can see I've just put it on. Can you see how glowy that makes me? Like it's really, really nice. I'll leave the link for it down below. It's only 13 pounds. I mean, 13 pounds quite expensive actually. But anyway, it was 13 pounds, which I think, you know, for SPF is really, for me anyway, it's something that I use every single day. And I live in a, an apartment where I've got like floor to, almost floor to ceiling windows. And I get a lot of light that comes into this house. And I think, I need to wear SPF whether I leave the house or not. And then I've heard a lot about this brand, CeraVe. Um, and so I got the eye repair cream because I never, I never, like I said, I don't wear anything um, on my eyes at night or anything like that. And I think, you know, getting to that age where I feel like I need to start looking after my skin. Um, and this is a brand that's been developed with dermatologists and so I, I think that gave me some kind of confidence I guess in knowing that it whatever in whatever's in here is not bad for your skin. I also got this um, Olaplex hair repair perfector thing. <laughs> I heard so much about it and I feel like when I was pregnant my hair was so strong it grew really long like it was almost down to my like my lower back like really quite low down um, and then as after I gave birth, sort of the past two months, I feel like my hair's been shedding so much recently. And just by, if I just put my fingers through my hair, like I, I can get like so much hair in my hand. It's kind of scary, but I was really scared that my, you know, my hair that I've spent so many years trying to grow out and like, you know, perfect and get really beautiful and thick is going to just fall out, which it is doing. Um, so anyway, I heard a lot about this. It's supposed to be, it's a bit like a, um, I guess a hair kind of mask. Um, it's a bond builder, it says. I uh, use one time a week for damaged hair, two to three times per week. Um, I only wash my hair once a week anyway. So yeah, I've heard good things about it. Um, so we'll see how it goes. And that's it, I got those four products. So hopefully that'll be something that I can add to my little collection of stuff. Um, and I also got this second box. And I'm pretty sure I know what this is. I think it's some dates. Oh, come on then. When we um, don't manage to make it to Costco, we get the Yaffa dates. I'll leave the they are a Palestinian product. <laughs> what are you doing? Yeah, this, these are the dates. They're medjool dates. Um, these are the jumbo ones. We always get the jumbo ones, but I think the large are also pretty good as well. Um, medjool dates are just the best. I mean, you can't go wrong with some medjool dates, but yeah. Got, some, got two boxes, hopefully we'll make it to Costco soon. Um, they're Palestinian and they are harvested in Palestine and they are picked and sort of, um, yeah, all the farmers are Palestinian farmers and I feel I just feel a bit more comfortable with that as opposed to other dates that are made in other parts of the world. Um, so yes, I that is my little haul today. It's one o'clock at the moment, um, so Fian's got another hour until his next nap. This is what I mean about like, I know his schedule, so I know that I can just chill for the next hour, play with him, I'll probably read my book, probably do some like, um, tidy the laundry actually, probably um, do some nursery rhymes, things like that, and then um, once he's off to bed, I've got a meeting and I've got things to do, don't I? Here you go. These are Palestinian medjool dates from a sh place called Yaffa. Do you know what Palestine is? Palestinian medjool dates. It's 100% natural. And Palestinian medjool dates. Let's open them up. Let's open, look, open. Open, open the box. Can you see inside here, dates? Look, one, two, three, four, five, 
6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. How many dates are there? these dungarees they're actually my pregnancy dungarees I only bought two pregnancy items two maternity items this one and a maternity pair of like culottes which I wore underneath basically everything I only started showing at like seven months seven and a half months before that no one knew I was pregnant at all like, even at work like no one could tell I was pregnant um, until I told them like I'm going on maternity leave now and they were like what <laughs> so yeah so this is the only thing I bought I'll try to find it on ASOS it's on ASOS I'll try to find it and see if they have it but I think it's amazing because the way it works it has like this extendable um, belt over here so you buy a normal size so I bought size 8 over here there's an extendable waist and then what happens is when you're when you finish your pregnancy you can actually like take off the extendable part and it's back to just being like normal dungarees so I'm wearing it right now and it's just it fits me like normal um whereas before it was able to fit a whole like nine month belly as well so yeah I think it's like I think it's amazing I'll definitely leave the link for it down below and then I'm wearing like just a long sleeve basic from end other stories up to I also by the way love this chair it's the baby born chair Open up. <laughs> it's a baby born chair and it he just he took to it from the first day we put him in it when he was like big enough I guess like probably three weeks old or something he absolutely took to it and um, it really hugs you so I'll show you what it looks like underneath it looks like that underneath can you see how it's kind of like it hugs the bottom <laughs> um, it kind of feels like I guess someone's holding him and um, yeah he absolutely loves it and he can move it himself as well so if he kicks it moves by itself so you don't you don't need so you don't need like to actually move it move it and I think he's now realized that the more he kicks the more he can move it Okay, back. Um, it's currently what time is it? 2:30, and I feel like today's gone so fast. It's already 2:30. Uh, but yeah, it's 2:30, and I'm feeling a little bit restless. Like I feel like I either want to go and have a little nap or go for a walk. Um, it's that time of the day where if you just kind of like laze around, you can easily kind of just waste time. But I think I'm gonna get on with some work because if he ends asleep, he's in on his second nap right now. Um, no. Like I said, he sleeps every two hours, so he just went to sleep at, what time is it? Two o'clock? Yeah, two o'clock. This nap should be a two hour nap. Um, so like I said, I've, I've kind of got this schedule going on where this nap, the lunch nap, is two hours. So I should get until four o'clock. However, it doesn't always work like that. Him napping isn't about me getting free time. For me, it's more, him napping means that he's consolidating his learning and sleep is so important for young children, especially um, a sleep that's over an hour. So if he's like napping for like 30 minutes, I really don't like it because I know that he hasn't got the best of that sleep and he hasn't benefited from the sleep. So, a fly. So, so yeah, I really like it when he sleeps much longer. Um, and the kind of the one way that I do that is kind of by like prolonging his sleep. So I get to the two hour mark and then I leave it like five minutes more. So he's tired enough that if I put him down, he'll sleep, but also um, awake enough that he has had his like two hours, that makes sense. Anyway, so my plan for right now is I need to edit a video. Um, so that's the last thing on my to-do list for today. To edit a video, I might post a picture on Instagram, but I'm not yeah i don't know what i'm gonna post on instagram <laughs> but i'm gonna edit a video on youtube i applied back to some emails i sent off some work i sent an invoice off um i just received some payment for some other work that i've got some of my proofreading work and yeah it's constant like clockwork like I've, i feel like i'm like mummy and then work and then mummy and then work and when i'm with sofian i don't do anything else so as soon as I'm not with him, I'm like back on, like it's like on and off, like it's like a switch. And it can be quite hard, I feel like sometimes to kind of just re-switch from one to the other. 
Um, but yeah, I haven't had lunch yet, but I had a late breakfast, so it's okay. I probably have lunch when he wakes up, just because that's the best use of my time. <laughs> um, it's a really nice day today. You know what, actually? One of the reasons why I haven't vlogged yet, and I, I really wanted to start vlogging a few weeks ago, but one of the reasons why is because the weather's been really nice, and wearing a hijab at home is not something that most people would sign up for. I am only wearing the scarf and a long sleeve top and these trousers because I'm vlogging. Otherwise, I would just... I would not basically I'd wear like casual light you know easy barely there home clothes so you know me vlogging is a commitment and it's like it definitely is uncomfortable for me being at home like having to cover up and stuff but it's fine for one day here and there I'm not too fast um Fian just woke up from his second nap and um my meetings at 4:30, and I'm. I, we both feel a bit restless at home. I'm feeling a little bit like I need to, either like I said, walk or do something. I usually I'm doing Chloe Ting's um, <laughs> two week shred, um, but I don't feel like doing it today. Like it's just really humid and hot, and I'm just like, oh, I'm not in the mood. So I am going to just go for a walk instead, just like burn a little bit. He's like six kg, so walking with him is a, is is a, is literal workout, literally far, maybe like 15, 20 minutes, not too long either. Um, maybe I'll get him his sun hat. I think he might need your sun hat. Quickly, how cute is this sun hat? Again, it's from Amazon. Everything's from Amazon, isn't it, these days? You can't go out, so you just order from Amazon. Um, yeah, it's such a cute little sun hat. Keeps his head, um, cool, but also he can't wear sunglasses, so it means that he's not blinded by the sun. Um, and this baby carrier is from Ergo Baby. It's the Embrace baby carrier, the newborn one. It's so nice. It's just like carrying, um, with the wrap, the actual sling. But I find it really, really comfy and he loves it as well. So let's go. Out. It is a beautiful day. And actually, I'm really glad that I grabbed the um, sun hat because it's actually quite sunny. Um, I'm just walking through like a lovely neighborhood. I was going to go to the park, but I thought, you know what, let me change up my route a little bit because I'm getting kind of bored of the park. Um, look at how gorgeous these houses are. Hold on, let me show you. Literally bought this for that purpose. I don't want to like hurt myself either. Oh. 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 Yes. <laughs> the Insta pot and oh, wow, look at that. Um, it's rice basically with minced meats um, inside it, and oh, oh my gosh, it's so fluffy, and it's really like kind of I guess moist so you don't really need a sauce with it it could be eaten um just with like a salad or something um ooh, i'm so excited okay so let me do the taste test because this is the bit that i guess matters the most so i grab a little bit oh this looks so good okay mm. Mm. that's really good Oh, so I had the meeting, um, and it was a complete disaster. <laughs> it was a complete disaster. So I booked it for 4.30 thinking he'll be like fresh, awake, um, and can kind of just chill in his chair. But actually, it, he ended up being really groggy, and I think he was a bit hungry. It was my mistake. I should have fed him before the meeting. So during the meeting, he was hungry, and I obviously can't feed him during the meeting. So I just had him on my lap. And I gave him like a little toy to play with and he was like distracted for a little bit but then he started getting really agitated so we had to kind of cut the meeting short and I think we only spoke for like 20 minutes in the end but it was only meant to be half now so it's fine this is the reality of things this is why I wanted to vlog today because I really wanted to see what it'd be like being home alone and how I navigate these things so now I know for next time um, maybe to not book a specific time and just say look I'll call you when he goes to sleep and it'll be approximately this time <laughs> checking in the day after 
yesterday um because i realized i didn't say bye on the vlog yesterday. we just got back from westfield we were there pretty much all day it's currently like 4 p.m we got there at like 9 30 in the morning so <laughs> it has been a very long day and after wearing these black wide-legged trousers um well they're wide leg but they've got like this cuff that i really like at the bottom can you see that cuff it's such a beautiful cuff i think it really adds flair to the trouser we are just gonna get ourselves undressed right now i thought i'd say goodbye and let me know if you guys like this kind of content um i definitely will produce some more i am starting to go out a bit more now we actually went to eat at lunch today as well so things are opening up now i think i'm getting more comfortable going out as well so hopefully i can make more vlogs as i discover more of london with a baby um so yeah let me know what you guys think about this vlog today and uh, or yesterday technically and i'll see you guys in my next video bye